Hey guys, welcome to the channel! While the majority of crypto games are released on Ethereum blockchain, there are many great alternatives appearing on Binance. Bomb Crypto has recently made a lot of fuss. Wait, you haven't heard about it? Then this guide is a must-watch. But before we start, let's destroy the YouTube algorithm so that as many people as possible can see this video. Smash the like, smash the subscribe and hit the bell icon. Bomb Crypto is a popular play-to-earn crypto game that's built on the Binance Smart Chain. You have a chance at collecting NFT characters called Bomber Heroes that can help you earn Bomb Crypto or Bitcoin, the in-game currency. NFTs you earn can be sold to other players or used to up your game, and Bitcoin can be used to buy stronger heroes. I'll tell you what you can expect as far as gameplay, mechanics, and earning potential right now. Let's start with a few quick facts. It requires around $10 to start play. The marketplace is open. There are three game modes. It requires MetaMask wallet and extension. Third thing first. I should explain to you what is Bomb Crypto. Bomb Crypto is a play-to-earn game built on the Binance Smart Chain. Bomb Crypto released in September 2021 and is currently among the top NFT play-to-earn games on the market. Its design and basic mechanics are based on the classic Bomberman games, giving it a nostalgic vintage feel. Bitcoin is its native token used to purchase Bomber Heroes required to play the game. One Bitcoin is worth around 0.37 USD according to CoinMarketCap at the time of writing. How to play Bomb Crypto? You need to have 10 Bitcoin in the MetaMask wallet to get started with Bomb Crypto. So first of all, go to Bomb Crypto's site, uh, log in using your MetaMask wallet, purchase at least one Bomber Hero to play. Uh, begin play in Treasure Hunt mode. Only one Bomber Hero is required to start playing. You can purchase more at the show for a random drop or browse the marketplace for rare heroes with better stats to improve your gameplay. What appeals to me is the multitude of playable game modes on Bomb Crypto. When Bomb Crypto launched in 2021, the only available game mode was Treasure Hunt. Today, you can choose from three modes. First of all, with Treasure Hunt, you need to release up to 15 bomb heroes on a map, where they drop bombs and destroy treasure chests to earn B coins. This is the idle game mode. Need something more gripping? Try story mode. Choose one bomber hero and destroy monsters to progress. Killing monsters and breaking blocks offer chances of dropping B coins, and both battles can earn your NFTs. You'll need 15 heroes to play and one key mint uh, from treasure hunt mode. Finally, there is battle mode, combating against multiple players. This mode requires an entry fee and the winner gets the rewards. Here come the cherry at the top of this pie. You can earn money by playing these modes. How does play to earn work with Bomb Crypto? How much you can earn depends on how often you play and the mode you select. With Bomb Crypto, the number and stats of the NFT Bomber heroes you purchase dictate how well you can do within gameplay. You can also have multiple accounts. According to Bomb Crypto's FAQ, you can claim your earnings when you mine at least 40 Bitcoin and there is a 3% withdrawal fee. Let me show you how to play to earn concept is realized in all three modes. Treasure Hunt awards Bitcoin by clearing a map. Treasure Hunt is the easiest game mode to start with because it doesn't require active gameplay. Depending on your hero's levels, it could take an hour or longer to clear a map on Treasure Hunt with 15 of them. Your mission is to clear the map as quickly as possible. The more bombers you have and the better their stats, the better chance you have to clear the map and earn more Bitcoin. Earnings can be around 4 to 5 Bitcoin per run or less. But earnings ultimately vary by game and the value of Bitcoin can fluctuate. Story mode rewards Bitcoin by defeating monsters and breaking blocks. 
Story mode offers the chance of dropping Bitcoin when you defeat a monster or break a block. To unlock this game, you must mine a key in treasure hunt mode. One key allows for one run in story mode. Know that you need at least 15 heroes in your account to play, but you can choose only one hero. Battle mode awards Bitcoin by beating all players in a match. You've got to be top dog to earn in battle mode. Each player pays an entry fee, which serves as the winner's pot. If you win, you get the loser's tokens they pay to enter the match. You don't need a key or a specific hero to enter, but you are more likely to win with a hero that has good stats and high rarity, which means beginners with squishy heroes may want to wait to enter this mode. Losers earn nothing, so there is more risk involved because you don't get your entry fee back if you lose. Now it's time to explain to you where NFT heroes can be obtained. Three ways to get NFTs on Bomb Crypto. You can get NFT Bomber heroes with Bitcoins through auctions or with gameplay. First, visit the shop, buy one hero for 10 Bitcoin. The hero uh, that you get in random, but odds are it's common rarity due to drop rates. Alternatively, you can hit the marketplace to browse auctions and purchase NFTs. Treasure hunt mode is where you have a chance of encountering a trapped rescue hero. Your heroes on the map have a limited time to free the hero, and if they do, you get to keep the hero. You can have up to 50 active bomber heroes at a time, too you've allowed to 500 bomber heroes total on your account. Mind that uh, inactive heroes do not restore health. We will discuss that later. How bomber hero NFT stats? Uh, bomber hero stats are randomly generated. Their characteristics include power of bomb, bomb rage, stamina, speed, number of bombs that can be dropped, and random special ability. There are no hero classes such as uh, wizard or something as their appearances would suggest. Why do I recommend buying several heroes for you to play the game? Uh, bomber heroes need to restore energy. After using your NFT heroes in an in-game mode, they need to rest and restore. How long they must rest depends on their level and the energy they expanded. The better the hero, the more rest it needs before it's fully held. Heroes restore energy at a rate of uh, 0.5 energy per minute. The more stamina a bomber hero has, the longer it takes to completely heal, once stamina equals 50 energy. How to speed them up? Mm, buy a stuff house. Uh, bomber heroes restore energy as long as they're active, but you can buy a stuff house that speeds up healing time by 4 times. You don't need a house to play, but if you're aiming to be a daily player, buying a house could be worth the money. A teeny house costs 720 Bitcoin and a super villa costs 21,600 Bitcoin. Bomb Crypto limits the number of available houses to 5,000. More than 4,000 houses have already been purchased at the time of writing. Uh, you can upgrade your houses to heal more NFTs too. An update slated for 2022 is expected to allow for decorations, but right now houses are just for faster healing times. To sum it up, compared to other idle play to earn NFT games on the market, Bomb Crypto is among the cheaper ones. You need only one hero to start playing, and unless you enter battle mode, uh, modes are relatively low risk. Getting 15 NFT heroes can run you at least $50 right now, compared to uh, the Axie Infinity, uh, which costs over $1,000 for three lower tier NFTs. If you enjoy idle games, Bomb Crypto could earn your passive cash. It's easy to start playing with a MetaMask wallet and you can get sell right NFTs on the marketplace. That's it for today. I hope this video about Bomb Crypto was useful for you. More useful videos about cryptocurrencies, metaverses and NFTs are on their way. Don't miss them. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and the bell icon to turn all notifications. 